Okay, you guys, I'm back. I'm inside. This is amazing. We are here in Boulder, Colorado for the Anna Pavlova exhibit. It's by Peggy Turchette. And she has been working on this, like I said earlier, for her entire career. She has been working on these forever. And all of these wonderful dolls behind us are in the likeness of the ballet, um, the ballerina Anna Pavlova. And she has done all of their costumes to match historic photos of Anna Pavlova. And so we're gonna do you know, a full length video, of course, for the convention, but I want to let you know that I'm here and this is what we're doing. And I think this is incredible. And I'm gonna show you some and you're just gonna love it. It's called the Pavlova Project. So. So Anna Pavlova was a very accomplished ballerina and an entrepreneur who established and supported her own ballet company. And for the first half of her life, she performed, she trained and then performed at the Imperial Ballet in St. Petersburg, Russia. And then for the next two decades, she and her troupe um, crisscrossed the globe and did all kinds of ballerina things. She was born in 1881 in St. Petersburg. And she just has an incredible, incredible life. But look at this. So when you see the doll, look there, there that's a Helen Kish doll. It matches the outfit in the photo. Isn't this so cool? Anna at 11. In school uniform. Oh my gosh. Becca, it, I agree. It is such a cool concept. It is so incredibly well done. You can see on every single one, you can see the original photo and then her creation of it, bringing it to life. It is absolutely remarkable. So a lot of these have very special Look, there's me with Murray. Just kidding, but oh my gosh, look at this! Isn't this amazing? So we're gonna have a we're gonna have a private tour for this for the convention, and it's gonna be so incredible. One of the things that I love about this is that almost all of the dolls are Robert Tonner. Isn't that so cool? Look at this, the dying swan. Look at this. So if you guys are just tuning in, she has taken, Peggy Turchett has taken historic photographs of the very famous ballerina, Anna Pavlova, and recreated them into lifelike, into the, the life, the actual doll. Yes, Tim Perk. So many Helen Kish and Tonner dolls have been used in this exhibit, almost all of them. Doesn't that just make it even more fun for our convention? Oh. This project has been a lifelong dream of the artist. Look at this, read me a story.
There's Anna with her dog. And then look, isn't this just so cool? What an amazing way to represent an artist and to tell the story of their life. It's just so cool. She has looked for these images for her entire life and, and put them together. Some of them are very grainy because she's she was born in the late 1800s. Isn't that amazing? You just, there's the picture. I can't wait to hear what she has to say about this. It has been estimated that Anna Pavlova and her ballet company traveled over 800,000 miles between the years 1910 and 1930, performing almost daily in cities and towns on six continents. Wherever she went, Pavlova embraced the local people and was fascinated with their culture, their language, and their own dance traditions. Here's a picture of her with the lamb. We're gonna get a tour of this and I can't wait to hear from Peggy and show you guys all of this amazingness at the Pavlova exhibit out here in Boulder, Colorado. How awesome. It's all about ballet. And when I walked through here, the, it's at the Dairy Arts Center, there was so many ballerinas everywhere and they were all doing their ballet. I loved it. So cool. Look, Peggy is also an illustrator. She sews, she illustrates. She does all kinds of things. So much fun so if you guys are in Colorado definitely come to this and of course for the virtual convention we're gonna have a, a full tour with Peggy Turche Turchett who invited us here I'm excited all right I'll see you guys soon bye